This is number two of the seven issues run, which was published yesterday with this impressive cover by David Finch, continued with the mind-blowing story of the anti-life virus which destroyed Earth and turned the people into zombies. Five years after the virus infected the Justice League, Cyborg, who was thought to be killed by the infected Wonder Woman, sent a signal to Earth 2, where the survivors of Earth 1 built a new world. John Kent and Damian Wayne became Superman and Batman of Earth 2. The heroes received Cyborg's signal and traveled back to Earth-1, where they found his head separated from his body. Suddenly, they were attacked by Wonder Woman, who destroyed their ship and infected Green Arrow. Black Canary, who wielded the power ring, attacked Wonder Woman and stabbed her. Superman, who tried to stop Black Canary from killing Diana, was stabbed and severely injured. He wanted to tell her that Cyborg said that there was a cure for the infected. Our book for today opens with Roy Harper, a.k.a. Arsenal, protecting a bunker where some survivors have been hiding from the zombies. Suddenly, he sees hordes of the infected rushing towards them and tells the people to get into the bunker. The infected fire, however, blasts Arsenal and kills him, while the zombies break into the bunker. Suddenly, John Constantine intervenes with his new team, which consists of Red Hood, Zatanna, Ragman, Ravager, Blue Devil, and Detective Chimp, calling themselves the Shadow Pact. They engaged the zombies and easily took them down. Zatanna then confronted the infected fire and cast a spell to defeat her. Suddenly, Swamp Thing appears from nowhere and helps John destroying the zombies. He tells John that there are two gardens in the world, where the survivors hide from the infected. The first is the one ruled by Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn in Gotham City, and the second is in Australia. Swamp Thing says that the garden in Australia is screaming, and he can't ignore it anymore. But there are humans in that garden, and they are not going to survive what Swamp Thing is going to do to help the plant, and that's why he wants John to join him. Some of the heroes then joined Poison Ivy in her garden in Gotham, when Wonder Woman of Earth 2 arrived carrying the injured Superman, who was stabbed by Black Canary when she was trying to kill the infected Diana. Meanwhile, Jason Todd meets Damian Wayne and tells him that Bruce made the right decision when he wanted Damian to become the new Batman. Black Canary then arrives, carrying the infected Green Arrow, but Poison Ivy does not allow her to enter the garden. Ivy said that she has kept the anti-life equation outside for five years and that she is not going to allow someone infected to walk in, forcing Black Canary to fly away. Cyborg then said that he spoke to the anti-life equation and it said that the cure was inside him. Meanwhile, in Australia, the garden which Swamp Thing talked about is screaming for help. It's surrounded by a ring of fire, a moat of blood, and a few thousand undead. The Shadow Pact arrived and was about to engage the zombies, when the unexpected happened. What they thought to be a blood moat was revealed to be the infected Plastic Man, who attacked them. He brutally killed Zatanna, Ragman, and the Blue Devil, while John Constantine, Swamp Thing, and Detective Chimp seemingly survived the attack. The bloodshed continues, and the undead seem to be unstoppable. Dr. Fate will use magic and science to try to save Superman, and find the cure inside Cyborg. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.